In this episode, we're going to talk about the dosing of finasteride and should it change uh, over time if you're taking this medication long term. So stick around and we'll uh, dig in deeper into that question. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. Uh, again, unfortunately I'm flying solo in very different surroundings this time. We're in, we're in the studio. We just uh, did some videoing for um, a, lec a series of lectures that I'm giving for a conference. Uh, so I thought, well, we had the studio, we'd, we'd do, we should have a few videos for, um, for the Hair Loss Show. Uh, with Russell still being in Sydney, I'm here in Melbourne and we're currently in lockdown. So uh, unfortunately I'm, it's just me for the time being. But in today's episode, what I wanted to do was to tackle a question that we do get asked quite a lot, uh, both on the channel and also, um, well, in, in consultations, and that's uh, should we uh, change the dose of finasteride or we look to change the dose of finasteride if we're on it long term? And there's no hard and fast rule. Uh, generally, my viewpoint on finasteride is that ideally I want it to be the lowest dose possible um, uh, for, that gives you the maximum outcome. So we're looking for stability with finasteride and I want whatever's the lowest dose that uh, you need to attain, uh, to attain that stability. And for most people, uh, the dose doesn't need to change over time. So it's not something I predict that over time we will need to increase the, the dose of finasteride either to a daily dose or even increasing the actual uh, milligram dose that, uh, that we're, we're administering. Um, I don't think tolerance necessarily is an issue. It's not that over time you become resistant to uh, finasteride, but uh, over time, uh, you know, we know that the efficacy of the stability uh, that finasteride gives you does drop with time. And we can see that uh, at one year, at two years, and at five years, when that's the, the data that we have, that the degree of stability does drop. At one year, it's about 89%, and it drops down to about um, 63% uh, at around about five years. So that's normal and changing or increasing the dose of finasteride will not necessarily uh, change that. There are some people that go through various phases of, uh, of their hair loss and in that scenario, maybe it's worthwhile uh, considering. But I think it's something that you should speak to your uh, prescribing physician, but it's not, uh, from in our practice, it's not uh, something that's prescriptive in the sense that uh, for the first five years you take so much and then we increase it for the next five years or however. It's done on a case-by-case -case, uh, basis. So again, if you're having issues with your finasteride, please do speak to your uh, prescribing physician and understand that uh, the goal of finasteride is to stabilize your hair loss. All right. So hopefully that answers your question. Wish you all the best. Take care and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks again very much for watching. Please remember to, to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon. Take care.